Hey guys, I'm LB, and uh, we are gonna check out A Chamber for LB by SC McGowan. And uh, I did question them about the rather unusual thumbnail here, and uh, apparently the piston platforms are are not part of the puzzle, they just forgot to remove them. And uh, they have plenty of time to update the map, but whatever. Difficulty, medium, easy, the map is designed to be my best... Wait, so the map is designed to my best puzzle creation abilities. The map was built, quote-unquote, in Aperture in 1976. That's all the lore about the chamber. <laughs> yeah, I think you want to focus on the puzzle, not the chamber lore. You can always do lore later. Right, standard B-Mod, old-style theme. I'm personally... I'm personally not a fan of this B-Mod style. Other people like it, but I just- I just personally do not like it myself. Right. What is with these ant lines? Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make sixty dollars? Cash. I'm also not a fan of these automatically opening doors for, for no reason like that. So it looks like that's our actual exit. What about this? Okay, this one doesn't open, so we have to go here first. Why is this room full of portal surfaces? We should really just start off in this room, honestly. If this is the only place we can go first of all, we should just start off here. Also, what's the point of these... these turrets? They seem... They seem rather pointless to me. Do we got a fizzler anywhere? Why is it so bright over there and so dark in the rest of the place here? Alright, I'll put a portal there. And we can get rid of these pointless turrets. Not sure what the point of these is, because I can just get rid of them so easily. You might as well just remove them from the map. Right, clean- cube cleaning spot, that's always good to have. Uh, right, this is the cube button, I can't activate that. What activates this dropper? Can't tell. Th they, these- these antlines- these antlines need cleaning up, because... Yeah, these- these antlines are really confusing to tell where anything goes. Is this door open? There's a whole other door here. Well, that opens it- what- what? Why? What's the point of that? And it's permanent, so... I'm confused what the point of this door and button are for, like, we might as well just have this area be open and available from the start. What is... what is even happening right now? So here's the thing, you've got portable walls everywhere, which means I can pretty much bypass everything you might have wanted me to do here. Just by doing this. What does that even do? What's this over here? Ouch! What in the world? Why did that have to be so loud? Uh... I'm not sure what any of that's for. Let's just, uh, let's just get out of here and forget we ever saw anything. Right, so let's put this cube on this button and see what this does, if anything. Um... I'm not sure what that did, to be honest. Let's, uh... Did it do anything over here? What was that button for? I didn't even get to use that button yet. I didn't even get to use that, or anything. What? I'm so confused. What What is over here in this area? Like, we opened this door now. Are we... Weird. Uh, so we get two cubes, apparently. Tiny cube and regular cube, okay. And then I just put this here, I guess. And then what? What is the rest of this for? Yeah, I think I broke it. I think... I think I skipped, like, 90% of what you wanted me to do here. So the main issue is that you've got portal surfaces everywhere, which means I can just portal wherever I want. That's probably an oversight, you probably meant to have no portal surfaces, or something. And, uh, over in this room, the turrets, as I said, were pointless, there's no reason to have those. And I don't even know what's up here, this is... Oh my gosh, it's so bright. Oh, there's a light bridge now, I don't even know what did that. Yeah, let's just get past that while having to walk. What 
What does this button do? Oh, it drops that cube, huh? What is this cube for? We already had that cube. From in this room. Did you mean to have a fizzler in the doorway here? Cause there's no fizzler here. And this, like, a- another thing is there, there's all portal surfaces so I could skip everything, so... Yeah, like, I can kinda see what you were going for here, but it's not much of a puzzle. And I could completely skip all of it, so yeah, I would definitely recommend... Uh, working more on... testing it, making sure that you got all the- the testing done. Yeah. So, I think I've already linked you to Demon Arisen series and Rectorox's guide, you'll definitely wanna keep referencing those. And really, getting better at making maps just takes a lot of practice. You gotta keep making maps, gotta keep testing them, keep getting feedback. And eventually you will improve. I promise you will. It can take a while sometimes, though. I've always wondered why these look all... ...weird in B-Mod. Like, this- this looks like... This looks like the Aperture employees didn't even try. <laughs> it's even spilling out at the edges. That's hilarious. Oh, I hit the dropper, apparently. Okay. Well, anyway, let's- let's get out of here. I think I've said enough. As always, thank you so much for watching. I, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!